Good morning, students. How are you today? Our subject is going to be on pre-vocational studies. Pre-vocational studies. Revocational studies. And our topic today, that is a very common topic, is food. Say food. Say it again. Wow, Joshua, I know you are smiling by now because I know you like food. Food. Okay? Another food, we're going to have a subtopic. Which is meaning of food. Meaning of food and why we eat food. Which is the reasons why we eat food. Right, so first of all, what is food? What do you understand by food? You take it every day, I'm sure. Food is anything we eat that makes us grow. Did you get that? Food is anything we eat that makes us grow. Food is anything we eat as of the streets growth. Anything we eat that makes us what? Grow. It can be in solid or liquid form. It must not always be in solid form. It can also come as liquid form. For instance, liquid form, the water you take, when I mean water, the drinks you take. It's in liquid form, so it's water. The drinks you take, the canned drinks, beverages, juice, all these are drinks. They are what we take into our body and it makes us what? Grow. Okay? Food gives us what? Energy. Energy to work. And also energy to what? Play. I know just I like to play now. So the food you eat, the food I eat is what gives us strength, it gives us energy. It keeps us alive. Without food, hmm, without food, we'll be gone. If you want to date, you can try to stay for as long as you like. Maybe, in fact, you can't even stay one day without eating because you, you hunger will want to finish it. Hunger wants to de will deal with you. Food is very important. Food is essential. Food is necessary and is mandatory. If you don't eat, you are closer to your grave. Of course. Why? If you don't eat, you are closer to getting ulcer. And ulcer is a step to grave. Food, without food, your body will not look normal. You will change drastically. You can't compare someone that is eating with someone that is not eating. Check it, for instance, animals. You want to rear animals, for instance, let's go to the poultry sector. You want to rear birds, you get a bird. A chicken. Or, okay, you get a chick, for instance, you get it at that early stage. Okay? And you brood. And it gets to a certain stage maybe after a week, you start feeding them. You start feeding them. And you get another one, you keep that one. Without feeding that one at all. No water, no food. You feed this one, you don't feed this one. I can assure you, in less than a week, in fact, one week is too much. The other one we don't feed with that of hunger, of starvation. You know what starvation is now? Where there is no food, no water to drink, you just decide to stay without taking anything. It leads to death. Food is very important, it's very necessary as human. If you don't eat, you are gone. If you don't take your water, your drinks, you are gone. Water is very important. You cannot stay a day without taking water. 
It's advisable, not by one side of Take at least 10 glasses of water daily. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing I'm supposed to do is to drink water to nourish your body. Food nourishes us, it keeps us healthy. Good food keeps us healthy. Where well, bad food destroys us. We'll get to that. Not now. Food is important. Taking good food. It is expected that you eat first thing in the morning. It must not be many foods. Few foods. You can take tea. Slice of bread. One or two slices. Just a week. Can you take two slices? I know you want to take four. So take breakfast. Breakfast is one you take in the morning. Your tea, your bread, a car. It can be oats. Pick out. It can be fried plantain. And, 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 and the potato, fragrant, whatever you take in the morning, breakfast. Some people decide to take it in the morning as breakfast, doesn't matter. But food is very important, it is necessary, mandatory. Eat! It's expected that you eat every morning. Take your water, you take your breakfast, you go out. Once you eat, believe me, you walk confidently, you have boldness. But someone that is hungry will not be bold. Now, once you are walking, you will be shaky, you will be shaking. In fact, if they push you, you might even fall. If you don't eat, you won't sleep long. And if you don't eat good food, you, you are closer to your brain. If you don't take water, you will die of thirst. It is very important to eat and drink responsibly. Don't eat too much. Eating, we'll get to that. Eating is very important. Food is anything that we eat. Food is anything that we take into our body. Can be examples of food you know it, I don't need to tell you. Okay, just I'll tell me one. Of course, I know one thing you tell me is rice. Rice, everybody knows about rice. Rice can be jello fry fried rice. Rice, beans, bread is food. Akara and bread is food. In fact, that was what I took this morning. <laughs> Akara and bread with tea. Okay, so it is very important. Believe me, sometimes you can take you can decide to take a can bread in the morning with tea. And you can serve if you pure water, maybe till afternoon or to even till even, even in the evening. You don't need to eat another food later. But if you don't eat in the morning, I can show you before 12, you will feel hunger. You will not be able to concentrate if you don't eat. If you don't eat that you come to school, I can assure you whatever I will teach will not enter. In fact, if you are hungry now, all these things I'm saying will just go in here and go out from there. You will not be able to concentrate. So you need to eat to stay healthy. You need to eat to look healthy. Of course. So, we're going to be talking about reasons why we eat. Of course, I've mentioned it if you're aware of it, you know I've mentioned it a lot. So, this is the meaning of food and why we eat, reasons why we eat. Why do we eat, Joshua? Just think, why do we eat? Why do you eat every day? One example of why we eat is so that we can grow. We eat to grow. Because, like I said, that is after the poultry bed. I said, if you bring two different poultry beds here now, broiler, for instance, of course, or even the local one, if you keep them here without food, of course, the broiler beds, you know, is the food that it eats that makes them weighty, heavy. That's why you like broiler. So, if you don't give them food, if you don't give them water, they will die of starvation. But if you keep feeding them steady, daily, more it's not once you don't feed them, once you give complete dosage, three square meals or even more, give them food, give them water, they will, they will be strong, they will get healthy, they will, they will be healthy and strong for consumption, of course, for our consumption. So the ones you don't feed will die of starvation. The same thing to other animals, if you get animals within you, you restrict them from taking food and water. Why do you feed the other ones? It will shock you that even within a few days, the one that will stop will just die. At first, they will start reducing in size. Even if you bring a weighty cow and elephant here, and you don't feed them, you keep one here, you keep the other one here, you're feeding this one, you're not feeding this one, they will start reducing. Because they got their body weight, every single body will start reducing. Before you know it, they will get lean, very lean. And at some point, they cannot be able to carry themselves. Before you know it, you will start getting sick. If any, you will jump. You will think is you will start feeling sleepy. Those before you know it, they are gone. The same thing for human beings. If I keep you without giving you food, 
There is this saying that the hungry man is an angry man. If I keep you without eating food, okay, God forbid not to. Someone that is not eating. It is only someone that is not alive that can stay without eating and not complain. But someone that is alive, as long as you are alive, you have bread in you. If you are not eating, you are not taking water. You are going slowly. Your body shape will reduce, your size will reduce, your weight will reduce drastically. You will get lean and lean and lean. Your eyes, everything will change about you. And if you still remain there, you are slowly going to the grave. You are slowly going to the grave. So, lack of food leads to death. Lack of food changes your shape and size. So, lack of food is, don't even think about it, always eat. So, like we said, why do we eat? We eat to gain energy. Food gives us what? Energy. Not just energy. It gives us strength. Gives us strength, okay? Energy, strength, gives us weight. Someone that doesn't have strength, someone that doesn't have energy, if you don't eat, I can so you can't live some certain objects. You wake up in the morning, you want to go and bath, have a bath. You fetch a pocket of water. So carry it if you're not, if you if you don't have strength, you can't lift it. Even while going to school, your bag is heavy and they give it to you because food, so food is inside, your books is inside. I want to be, if you're not healthy, if you're not strong, if you're not, if you don't have strength and energy, you will not be able to lift it. Food is essential. Without food, you will not have energy, you will not have strength. But if you eat, balance diet, you have energy, you have strength, because the foods you eat have nutrients. And these nutrients are what keeps us alive. Okay? So, food, while we eat, is because it helps us, it nourishes our body. It nourishes our body. Body. We said it helps us to grow. It nourishes our words. Body it nourishes our body. We eat to get what nourished. Okay. We also eat so like to protect us from what disease. It protects us from what disease. Of course, man. Sorry. From what? Disease. You eat also, I will not get sick. You eat so you don't get or sick. And a good example of this is ulcer. Ulcer. Ulcer is a very deadly disease. Ulcer. You are saying, if you don't eat, you are likely to get what? Ulcer. Awesome. If you don't eat, you don't take water, you are likely to get what? Ulcer. Awesome. And ulcer awesome leads you to your grave. So, like I said, the few points are this. Reason why we eat, eat to grow. We eat, we eat to get what? To gain energy. We eat to gain what? Strength. We eat to be what? Nourished. We eat so that our genes, our body, the body, our body can be able to protect us from what? Some deadly diseases. Like ulcer. Ulcer is sickness. If you're sick and you have ulcer, mm, you are in another world. So, this is what we eat. It's been highlighted here. So, I'm going to give us an assignment. It's part of our evolution. Welcome to class tomorrow, Joshua, Fedora, and all of you. Welcome to class. First off, you're going to tell me why we eat. Why do we eat? One. And then in your own words, in your own terms, what is food? What do you understand by food? Food. You're going to give me three foods you know in your in your place. Right from your culture. You they are, they are, they are preferred dishes, the food they eat. If it's a mala, you will eat there. If it's a way to you will tell me your own, your own home from your place. Okay. Now, lastly, of course, now you 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 tell me your favorite food. Okay. So these are the three easy assignments I'm going to give you. But make sure you come with it tomorrow. We are going to do more class works, but these are what I want to do for me. Thank you very much.
Have a nice day. Great day.